Today, we are going to attempt a challenge in a Madden 23 online ranked match where we have to bench every starter on the team. We are going to play with the backup players only. We must win a ranked match in today's video to win this challenge. If you guys want to see more Madden online challenges like this, suggest your zaniest challenges in the comment section below. Now, let's get underway. Yo, what is up everybody? And welcome back to another Madden 23 online game. Today we are going to take on a very fun and challenging challenge suggested by Nathan and a couple of other people in the comment section throughout the last couple of videos for us to play with a team full of backups. No starters on the field, just second and third stringers. I was going to use the Kansas City Chiefs as you guys saw in the beginning, but what I realized was the Chiefs don't have enough linebackers on their roster for me to do a backup challenge because I they only had like four or five linebackers for three linebacker positions on the depth chart. It would have been impossible to do the challenge with them. So I had to find a team that had enough players on their roster for me to put a backup in every meaningful position. So no Chad Henney. We are going to use the Miami Dolphins, though. Miami had enough players. A lot of people use Miami online for their speed, mainly on offense with Tyreek and Jalen Waddle. But we're not going to get access to the speedy receivers. Instead, we get to work with the likes of Trent Sherfield and River Craycraft. We get Hunter Long. And of course, we get Skylar Thompson at the quarterback position and no moster I don't even know who's gonna be our running back in this game I don't know who half the players are gonna be in this game given it's all backups but we got no choice but to give it a go that's the way the challenge is written as we are underway against the Kansas City Chiefs playing with the backup defense well, let's just say this should be interesting as first down. That'll help. Mahomes goes backward. We don't get Jerome Baker, but I believe that's Duke Riley at the linebacker position making the tackle. And honestly, I have no idea what this dude's doing on offense, but I very much appreciate it. Third down, though, he goes to Pacheco. And look at the open lanes for Isaiah Pacheco. He nearly got the first down. Without big Christian Wilkins inside, running up the middle might be easy for this guy. But on fourth down. Oh, rubber duck. You are the one. What in the world is this guy doing on offense? Does he not know how to throw a bullet pass? Skylar Thompson, do you know how to complete a pass? That could be a bit of a challenge here. Oh, we got Savon Ahmed in the game. That's our starting running back, apparently. Third down and 10. Empty set. Skylar Thompson. Look at the time we got from the backup O-line and a wide open Trent Sherfield for the touchdown. We might have just stumbled upon the perfect opponent to play this challenge because this guy he barely seems capable of using his two right thumbs properly to play Madden right now like that offensive drive he just had was horrific he puts together another one of those and I'm suddenly feeling good as you see Jalen Waddle because he's a backup he's playing special teams oh a special interception do not put your hands in the cookie jar because we'll force the rage quit if you do apparently challenge one just like that this guy rage quits and we got ourselves a w and you guys see here uh it was an online game obviously not against the best opponent and by the way shout out to my online record for being absolutely shattered by these challenges i was seven and oh before i started doing these videos man but um it's obviously all for fun. Nothing serious here. Just, you know, it's Madden in May. We're doing what we can. We are going to hop into another game, though. I am going to try to beat the challenge again because, honestly, that was a little bit too easy. I felt like I was literally taking candy from a baby playing that game. So, um, I'm not even going to say we're playing with house money. I want to legitimately win a game that's not against that dude who quit in the first quarter, right? I want to at least get to halftime with these backups and really put ourselves to the test. Third down and five, two, or sorry, Skylar Thompson floating it up looking for Ahmed that's picked off Chauncey Gardner Johnson with the pick no Tua no Raheem Mostert to float those kind of passes to instead we got Skyward Thompson to Savon Ahmed and yeah that's going to be the expected result sometimes and this guy was running a lot of man coverage on defense on that opening drive which worries me because we don't have the receivers to beat man coverage we're running backups against the Eagles secondary with Bradbury and all those boys oh AJ Brown tried to out muscle us for that catch against uh, I don't even know that safety man McKinney is that his name McKinley dude's like an 83 speed safety like Vernon and McKinley or something like that as that'll be a completion and could be a touchdown it is a touchdown for Dallas Goddard and the Philadelphia Eagles the backup 
safeties from Miami are really slow that I use, but the backup corners are not that bad. So I did want to mix in a little bit of man coverage. We have to pick up this ball, by the way, as Alex Ingold is there to pick up that play. But we are going to start at our own four-yard line. You see this guy just running straight man coverage all across. And honestly, I don't really think this is going to work out for us if he does that all game. I... No matter what we do, no matter what route combinations we draw up, it's going to be really tough to beat man coverage. But zone? Hey, man, I'm looking at my chops anytime you run zone. Hunter Long with the catch. Of course, Hunter Long, the key acquisition in the Jalen Ramsey trade for the Los Angeles Rams in this offseason. He's our starting tight end instead of Mike Gusecki. Second down. Skyler looking for the big play. Only a three-man rush. Shout out to the backup O-line for still holding in check. Skyler now going to try to take off, but... Eventually brought down by Redick and Josh Sweat. Only lost a yard in that play, though. Third down. Skyler looking, surveying, floating. Oh, scary throw. Picked off by Malcolm Epps looking for Hunter Long in traffic. And I mean, I just I don't really know what other options we have in some of these passing plays, man. These are like we're, we're dead men walking going into a third down and long. And they just run, you know, man coverage, safety over the top, underneath coverage. But that's the challenge, right? That That is the fun of the challenge. We got to do this with backup defensive players against Jalen Hurts and the boys. Hold on just a second. The backup defense is off to the races. Coho gone. Touchdown, Miami. That's the kind of game-changing play we definitely need. And with our offense looking a bit vulnerable, we might have to try to rely on the backup defense. And by the way, I even switched the kicker and the punter. I inverted those positions, if you guys noticed. So I have Thomas Morstead kicking field goals. And if you don't know, putting a punter as a kicker, Madden automatically nerfs the kick power of an out-of-position player playing kicker. So we're going to have to focus on our field goals a little bit. And long field goals are just not going to be possible with us using Thomas Morstead instead of the usual kicker Sanders that'll go outside this will be Dallas Goddard third down and seven big conversion by Philly under two minutes to go in the half it's a tie game I feel like if we just don't give up a touchdown we are very much in this game a little bit of wildcat as Kenneth Gainwell goes backward hey man run wildcat cool take time off the clock awesome 30 seconds to go in the half Jalen Hurts third down it's Goddard again Dallas Goddard is simply tearing us a new one right now as Philly calls their first timeout Jalen Hurts drop back against the blitz Time's up. Time is up. I believe that was Andrew Van Ginkle getting the sack. Got to rely on guys like Van Ginkle out here. Floating for Devontae Smith, who makes the grab on second down and 27. He gets Philadelphia into field goal range. And that'll be the way the first half ends with the Eagles kind of sneaking three on the board to take the lead. I really thought that, you know, if I put a safety over the top, play some press, that the safety would rotate in time. But... You know, I'm clearly underestimating how bad backup safeties are in Madden because, I mean, I don't know what that dude was playing out there. But playing a pretty good run defense, though, it must be said. Not that this guy's really running it too much. He'll probably pass it on third down, which he will to Goddard yet again. And you see, I tried to use her this dude with his weird name, number 42 at safety. He's just too slow. He is simply too slow to keep up with even Dallas Goddard up the seams. Like, if I had Javon Holland, I feel pretty good about that play. Even if I had Eric Rowe as, oh, baby, Miles Sanders to the crib. And Philadelphia now up two possessions. And we're in a very dire situation all of a sudden. We're playing from behind. That means we're going to have to, you know, you think pass the ball more if the run doesn't work and go against more of that devastating Philadelphia man coverage. So, yeah, I, I am learning a little bit about some of this backup stuff and how it might not be as easy as it looked the first time around against the Chiefs, who didn't really know how to throw a bullet pass. Oh, Savon Ahmed, though. If we can get the ground game going, I think that's our key to coming back in this game. As I say that, we drop back to pass on first down. Skyward Thompson. Oh, he's just not fast enough to extend the play. I thought I could outrun that dude, but skyler has got no wheels, man. He's got squeaky wheels instead. Middle of the field, though, Hunter Long. He's our go-to guy right now. I, I feel like Hunter Long is our best chance at beating man coverage. First down, Skyler underneath. I mean, I'm just staring down Hunter Long at this point. This is the throw into Hunter Long only challenge. I can see why the Los Angeles Rams gave up Ramsey to get Hunter Long, man. Third down and two. Only need two on the play, and we'll get it here. Savon Ahmed out the backfield, and that'll be the way the third quarter ends. We are in field goal range to make it a one-possession game if we somehow get stopped here with our unstoppable offense. Hunter Long taking 
defenders for a ride to the 11-yard line. Drop back, Skyler, middle of the field, and, oh, man, tight coverage to a backup receiver with a backup quarterback. Tough to make happen, but what's easy to do is finding Hunter Long for the touchdown. And, man, if you thought Hunter Long would step up, credit to you, because I had no idea that this would be our game plan, just finding number 84 all game. But now, obviously, we got to turn to the defensive side of the ball and make sure we get a stop. Just make sure we don't give up a touchdown. Hold on a second. We're not even going to get a chance to play defense because Britton Covey is going to the crib. Oh, you got to be kidding me, man. I mean, we, we should have starters on our special teams. That's the funny thing. We should actually have starters on our special teams because they're playing backup roles. And we gave up a kick return for a touchdown. The freaking, freaking Covey, man. Not even like a really fast guy. As we have a really slow guy here. Christian Wilkins. I don't know why he's our up man out there. But he is. <laughs> Maybe he should change that in the depth chart before the next game. Because it's looking likely that we're going to have a next game. We, like, oh, we did such a good job fighting downfield, getting that touchdown. And now our spirits are kind of broken as we're picked off by Avante Maddox. We just didn't have to give up the kick return, man. That's all we had to do. I, you know, I try not to scum kick in these games, right? I try to hold some moral integrity. But screw moral integrity as Dallas Goddard misses out on a walk-in touchdown. Once again, man, I just, I can't play aggressive with these safeties because they're so bad. McKinney, uh, we just got put in a, in a little bit of a dicey situation there. We had to either guard Jalen Hurts or guard that pass. Couldn't really guard either with that guy, McKinney. He's, he's trying his hardest out there. I'll give him that. McKinney's trying his hardest. Third down. Can he make the tackle? No, but the bad angle by Miles Sanders helps us out at the end of the day. It is going to be a two-possession game. Crazier things have happened, but one thing working to our disadvantage is that this guy is chewing clock right now, which is smart by him. It's just, you know, I'd rather him play reckless because, you know, when you're trailing, you kind of want the other guy to take his foot off the gas pedal a little bit as we have Carter. I put a fullback as our kick returner, by the way. I try to embrace the spirit of backups to the craziest extent to where I try to put the worst players that I could in somebody's positions. Like, there are faster backup safeties for the Miami Dolphins, but I chose some crazy bad ones instead like McKinney and the dude with the weird name number 42 the receivers I mean there was just I got the worst I possibly could and then obviously a quarterback we could have used Teddy Bridgewater but I decided to get Skylar Thompson and throw it to River Craycraft and get very predictable results <laughs> even on that point it looked like we really got ourselves out of the jam didn't even matter now. I don't even know who. I, that might have been Craycraft again that I threw it to that just did not come through for us. This guy kicks a field goal on first down, which, oddly enough, is probably the best thing he could have done for us besides turning it over because it's still a two possession game. There's 39 seconds left. It's not looking likely, but. You know, hey, man, if he wants to kick field, uh, at least that field goal, I'm okay with it. The problem is, I mean, how in the hell are we going to get two touchdowns and two two-point conversions when we really had to struggle to get our only offensive touchdown in the game earlier? So, yeah, this is the challenge of playing with the backups is, you know, against this man coverage with Tyreek and Waddle, oh, man. I can only dream of the amount of route combinations we could cook up to put pressure on this Eagles defense as good as they are even. But, yeah, we're just not going to get it done in that game. Now we go against the Washington Commanders. We're still going to use the Miami Dolphins. I, I feel like the Dolphins are a good team to use for this challenge. They're a fun team. And, uh, you know, we are losing a lot by benching guys like Javon Holland even or Jerome Baker and Christian Wilkins, let alone the obvious not being able to play with Tyreek and Jalen Waddle, which definitely reared its ugly head throughout that last game. And, oh, Carson Wentz lost the ball. This is Jenkins, the big fella. Don't got long to go to get into the end zone. That is just the break we need. An opening touchdown in the first 12 seconds of the game. Put the pressure on Sam Howell. You know, try to force a turnover or two, and then our offense doesn't have to do that much. Especially, we can force turnovers and, you know, shorten the field a little bit as Brian Robinson getting the tote here again and again of five yards. Well, like I mentioned, man, especially without Christian Wilkins inside and whomever else is playing inside for the Dolphins that I benched, uh, you know, running inside is definitely going to be beneficial for anybody that plays us in traffic. Oh, Justin Bethel had a great chance to pick that off. Too bad he's Justin Bethel, so we couldn't make it happen. Scary Terry. 
He's an elite receiver, so he's going to make that tough catch. Not for a first down. It's third down and one. And now it's fourth and long. Carson Wentz down on the ground. Andrew Van Ginkle with the big play. Wentz middle. Oh, got it. To, is that Ian Thomas? I No, Logan Thomas. Sorry for the first down. And now it's going to go back to Logan Thomas, who is proving to be a mismatch for us. Clearly, we cannot guard any tight ends. We learned that last game. Great extension by Curtis Samuel, because that looked to be overthrown, but Samuel reached out, made the grab underneath. That is caught for the touchdown. Shirtling in is Antonio Gibson beating whoever 49 is, man. Like I, I apologize if I'm disrespecting some of your favorite players in the NFL, but I, I mean, I, I just don't have that kind of knowledge of the backups of the Miami Dolphins. I, I truly apologize. As ah, trying to step up there with Sky, we did get a positive play. We're not going to get much time going against this Washington front throughout the game, so we got to get quick passes off. Uh, it would be a struggle with the starting offensive line for Miami because they're not really that good. But even with that, we don't get to play with the likes of Teron Armstead. We're playing with these backups instead. Who, Honestly, are playing better than I really could have expected. Like that play, I don't know how we didn't get insta shedded here. Why are we not getting insta shedded? I don't know. Madden's kind of throwing us a bone right here with some of the pass rushing RNG, and we're gonna take advantage because we have time. We're going to Hunter Wong. Oh, we could have went real long there with Savon Ahmed. That hole closed up just in the nick of time. We might have had a touchdown there as 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 Akana. Yeah, sure, why not? As Akana making the catch. Trying to throw a screen pass right there, as per usual. Screen passes only work when your opponent runs it, I swear. It's, I don't know what a running back was doing, but that's a pick! What in the world? That's a pick! The run, Payne, is going to apply to Payne! We're going to get another big man touchdown in this one! Payne, with the simplest of skips into the end zone after a long jog over 50 yards on the recovery. And that's how the commanders take the lead. That... I mean, that's just straight up sickening. All I want to do is check it down to my running back, and he's just dicking around in the middle of the field with the guy he's, who's supposed to be guarding him. I don't even know what he's doing on his route. And, oh, man, now Skylar Thompson has lost the ball. I've lost my head at this point. I just tried to slide with Skylar, and he said, no, thank you. I'd rather just lose my helmet and go into the concussion protocol instead. Downfield, McLaurin. Oh, man. Poor Noah. Poor Noah. I should have never put him on the island against McGore. That's my bad, man. But, you know, once we were trailing that game, I tried to get aggressive on defense. It just didn't really work out for us, clearly. So, we're just going to hop out of that game. We're not even going to make it to halftime. That unfortunate defensive touchdown. Being the underdog, that's the kind of plays, like, the free touchdowns. We really cannot be giving up free touchdowns. Like, a Deron Payne scoop and score. Or a kick return to Velvis Jones Jr. Who just gets ridden out of bounds by Duke Riley. I hope that's Duke Riley, by the way. Because if there's another Riley that plays inside linebacker, then I have screwed up. Second down. This will be a run. David Montgomery not getting much. Even though we spotted Chicago great field position. It is third down and seven. A chance for us to make a play. And we just about did, but... Jessup Fields apparently closed his eyes and said a prayer better than us because I don't know what in the world that rigged was, but it worked out for him. Unfortunately for this guy, though, he's going to get dinged for a full start. Take him back five yards. Second down. Oh, my goodness. Cole Komet just absolutely roasted 49 on an open campfire. A little QB wrap for Justin Fields. Don't want to see that because Fields can definitely cook on some of those runs. Oh, man. This dude McKinley is trying his hardest right now to make some plays with his 83 speed self. And he's doing a pretty decent job, man. Even though we can't quite get there to get the pick, we're at least preventing the first down. This is a big play. Fourth down, he's going for it. Justin Fields, empty set, picked off. He is picked off. And now we're off to the races. And now it's Justin Fields that we got to be getting sticky, getting icky. Fields backpedaling and falling behind. Here we go. All the way. Coast to coast. Let me try to get this name right. Noah Igbenogany. Baloney. Noah Baloney for the touchdown. Noah Igbenogany, he actually had to play some minutes. I mean, like some of these backups, obviously, you know, in some situations had to play minutes, meaningful minutes, meaningful snaps for the Dolphins throughout the year. That's the way injuries go throughout the year. But, you know, like Byron Jones, he did not play a lot of the season. But since he is a starter, a high overall player, we had to bench him. I, I, I truly have no idea who 49 is, though. It's a goofy number. It's a goofy name. 
and we just got a goofy interception with him. I'll take it. Second down, wide open, underneath. Ahmed with the catch. We're really leaning on Ahmed as our starting running back as we are dropping back. One and Ahmed again, but... Oh uh, yeah, against the cover zero, Skyler Thompson just doesn't quite have the cannon to let that one out at the timing that I would like it to be. Third down, open underneath, Skyler! Oh, Skyler, come on, man! That was open for a first down and maybe a touchdown to Ahmed. No one was guarding him, Skyler. You, you're sickening, Skyler. You are sickening to play with sometimes, but we unfortunately have to settle for the field goal there. Take advantage of getting some points. Uh, in, off of our user pick and get ourselves a two-possession lead. Hopefully play some defense. But whatever defense we could possibly play, which is not much right now. Justin Fields, he's definitely gone. We got no one that can keep up with Fields in a foot race. 72 yards to Pater. That hurt to give up for sure. A QB run, but obviously Justin Fields. Uh, you know, he's not your average quarterback when it comes to a quarterback, a design quarterback run like that, like the QB rap. So we'll just have to keep that in mind to, you know, make sure anytime he comes down that spread look to watch the QB rap. That's the second time he ran that play as we give it to Hunter Long. Oh, Hunter Long with the footwork. He's looking to go long, going past midfield, going beast mode. Hunter Long is that dude. He is simply just that dude. He's putting the team on his back out here. Is we're just going to give it to Ahmed. You see, I put on a little bit of chew clock trying to make this the last drive of the half. If possible, we need to get this third down conversion. Skyler protected, wanting long. He's not there. Skyler takes off, and Skyler Thompson for the first down. Shooting a little bit more clock. Oh, I try to dial up Hunter for the big play, but once again, that covers zero. Uh, I just got to get that ball out quicker, make a, a quicker decision if possible. Is, uh, I believe, yeah, Bears just called a timeout. They're trying to play a little aggressive here, get the ball back. Third down, quick throw, outside. Did he get the feet in? Yes, he did. What a catch by Ahmed. I was scared that this would be a boot review and overturn, but... We actually cleanly got the grab from our backup running back who is in the end zone on the very next play. Savon Ahmed making some big plays for the Miami Dolphins as we get our two possession lead and we draw a roughing penalty. So this is, I mean, a really good position for us. We got a defensive touchdown, love to see it. We're actually making moves on offense. This guy's not running man coverage, he's shading underneath all game. That works to our benefit, and we are getting user picks left and right. Byron Jones actually checks into the game there because I ran a dime set. My bad. Uh, <laughs> I hope that I didn't violate the challenge right there. But, uh, yeah, uh, CB4 on the roster. Someone has to play CB4. Just happened to be Byron Jones. And this guy just so happens to not want to play Madden anymore. He is going to be done with this game. And it, it happens in a weird situation. I caught, I called a timeout. I don't even know why. But after I call timeout, this guy, he just quit. I don't know. I'll take it, though. That We didn't get to halftime like I wanted to, but we'll just have to take this as our win for the challenge because I don't think I can endure playing with backups anymore. We won two games with the backups, man. I'll take it, and we'll just run away with our W. So leave a like on the video if you guys enjoyed this. Subscribe for more Madden 23 gameplays. If you guys have any more challenges, let me know in the comment section, and I'll catch you guys next time. Thank you, as always, for watching.